Hello, my dear friends. You are welcome to day number seven in the 2023 10 days of fasting and prayer themed back to the altar. Throughout these 10 days, we have been talking about the altar, why we need to rebuild every broken altar and institute a special, you know, um, prayer pattern in our lives, just as that of Jesus Christ. And today on the day number seven, our devotional thought has been captioned our most urgent need. Before we go through our devotional talk today, I want to invite you for a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us this far. Today is day number seven. We humbly ask the Lord you bless us. Help us to know what we really need, that we may have a special encounter with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. My dear friend, I want you to turn with me to the book of Psalms. Psalm 95, Psalm 95, verse number 6. Psalm 95, verse number 6. Listen to what the Bible says. Psalm 95, verse number 6. The Bible says that, Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. You see, the restoration of personal and family worship among Christians today is the most pressing need of our time. Listen, this is very, very important. But you see, it will not be easy. Why? Because today we face the challenges of technology that increasingly occupies our time and alters our mind. It changes the way we think and see things. Our addiction to media, especially social media, has left many of us anxious, irritable, lonely, stressed, depressed, sleepless, and unhappy. But you see, ironically, personal and family worship have the opposite effect on our lives. Worship calms our minds. It decreases loneliness, reduces stress, increases peace, fulfills our emotional needs, and teaches us to be content in life. So you see, the solution to our current stressful life is to rebuild the broken altars of prayer in our homes. You see, this is urgent. More than ever, God is calling us back to His heart to consistent times of refreshing in His presence. If we will go back to the altar with God, we will be transformed into His image and be empowered to finish His work. So dear friends, today as we continue with our 10 days of prayer, our most urgent need in this world of, of everything fast, everything smart, smart unfortunately rather making us dull and depressed, we need to come back to God. We need to understand that the solution to our issues, the solution to our problems, the solutions to our stress is to have family worship. Let us ask God today for a special outpouring of His Holy Spirit on our worship experience with Him. Our worship experience should not be found in church, no. Our worship experience should be found in our personal relationship, our personal times of prayer and study with Him. And now, more than ever, we need the precious blessings of communion with God. So on this day, as we continue with our 10 days of prayer, I want you to ask God for special favor, for special strength, that you would reconstruct any broken altar as we have learned in the previous devotional talk. And you would begin to have a special worship at home. You see, the reason why this is even more urgent is that if you look at what happened in 2020 when COVID caused every nation to go on lockdown, churches stopped meeting in the worship centers. And then we went back to how it was supposed to be family worship. Very soon, things would become even worse than what we experienced in 2020 during the COVID time. We are not going to be able to have that opportunity to meet with no prophecies. So if there was a time to reconstruct and rebuild every broken altar, family worship, that time is today. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Today, rebuild that altar and begin to have special worship in your home, with your family. If you are not a family person, on your own, do that and you would experience the presence of God 24 hours non-stop in your life. And God 
will fulfill his promise in your life. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Lord, we thank you that today you have revealed to us our greatest need. We need your spirit. We can only have your spirit when we invite your spirit in prayer. Help us that from this day on or throughout 2023, oh, there will be worship every morning and every evening in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen.